Greetings and salutations. I am your humble Adobe instructor, AJ Wood, and you're watching episode number 41 of I Create Content. Hey everyone, appreciate you tuning in for today's show. If you caught our last episode, we were actually doing part one of a new series on making luminosity selections and masks inside of Photoshop. Today we actually have part two, so let's go ahead and jump on into Photoshop. You can see on the screen in front of you, I've got the same image that I referenced in part one. And if you recall, we were making luminosity selections to affect contrast and color. Today, I've got the second technique I wanted to demonstrate. And I'll start off once again by command or control clicking on the RGB channel to actually activate that luminosity selection. Our second technique involves using the adjustments panel. So right now, once again, I have the lightest areas of the image actually selected. So what I'm going to do is add an adjustment layer that turns that into a mask. So here's how it goes. I'll just click on the curves adjustment. You can see it's added the curves adjustment and we have now a custom mask. If I option or alt click the mask, you can see it looks like a grayscale version of the photo. Now remember, when you're using a layer mask, areas that are white will be completely revealed. Areas that are black are going to be ignored, and areas that have varying levels of gray will act like transparency or opacity changes. So right now, if I adjust curves, the lightest areas of the photo will be affected most, the black areas, the shadow areas will be ignored, and any area in between is going to be affected just a little bit less. So here you can see, I can go ahead and just option or alt click to show you the image and watch now as I make a change and I can just pull down the sky and bring back some highlight detail. So there I am affecting the highlights in the sky. Let's go ahead and make a second luminosity mask. What I'll do is this, I'll go back to the channels and before I right click or excuse me, before I control or uh, command click, this is what you want to be aware of. Take a look at the layers panel. You need to make sure before you do the luminosity selection, you hide your curves adjustment. Why am I hiding the curves adjustment? Well, watch what happens when I leave it active. Right now, I'm looking at a composite of the two layers together. If I command or control click and load the luminosity, take a close look at that selection. It's not the same area as the original image. Remember, when you're working with layers, you're always looking at a composite of all the layers together. So now the brightest areas of the image have changed simply because I have that adjustment layer on top. So you need to remember before you do your second luminosity mask, make sure you hide that first adjustment. So let me go ahead and deselect. I'm going to hide that adjustment, select the background layer, and when I command or control click, notice that is the original luminosity selection that we started off with. So just as a summary, make sure you hide your first initial adjustment. Otherwise, you're going to select different pixels in the area. So I have this. This, once again, is the lightest pixels in the image. I want to go to select and choose inverse because that's going to select the shadow areas. So I'm going to make a second curves adjustment layer, but this one is specifically going to be for the shadows. So if I alt or option click that mask, notice it looks like an inverse because this is masking the shadow areas. So once again, white is going to reveal my adjustment. The black areas are going to be ignored and any area that's gray is going to get adjusted just a little less. So I'll option or alt click so you can see the image. And now I can actually go in and affect the dark. So notice how this is really affecting the landscape. And I can make changes to the landscape of the photo. I'll go ahead and turn on my top level adjustment. I'm going to label these so you know what we're talking about. Hey, this is the lights. This is the darks. And you can see this is our original image. And this is our image with the light 
added and this is our image with the darks changed. So that is part two in this series for using luminosity selections and luminosity masks. You can see in this case, I took my selections, applied a layer adjustment, and now I can non-destructively edit select areas in that image. So my name's AJ Wood. If you appreciate the video, give it a thumbs up. I always appreciate it when you subscribe to this YouTube channel. Remember, I create the videos that you ask for. I answer your questions on Facebook, on Twitter, on Google+. You can leave me comments here on the YouTube channel or my blog, ajwood.com. You guys have an excellent afternoon, and I'll see you next time for part three in this series.